Thanks for tuning in today. We have a special topic for you, the BEC. What is it and why do you need it? All right, today's topic is the BEC or battery eliminating circuitry. Now these days it doesn't actually get rid of a battery, but back in the day, you used to have to run two batteries in your RC car or truck. So you'd have your main pack, probably a six cell nickel metal hydride, and then you'd have your pack that powers the radio. And that would typically be a four or five cell NICAD pack. Now to get the proper low voltage to your radio or receiver, uh, these days what we actually have is an internal BEC inside the ESE, the electronic speed control. So this wire actually puts out six volts of power. And that means you don't even need an external battery for your radio. And this is pretty much standard across the industry. However, in the re radio control rock crawling field, you need more power for your servo almost across the board. It's really needed. So what we have is an external BEC. This is the CC BEC made by Castle Creations. And this one is selectable from 4.8 to 9 volts output. So more than likely, we're going to set this down to whatever the radio needs or to whatever the servo actually needs, depending on the use. For rock crawling use, we're going to power this up for whatever the servo wants to see. So probably about 7.4 volts. Now we need to make sure that the internal BEC does not cross talk with the voltage coming out of the BEC. So what we have to do is either remove the red wire from this so that both of them aren't powering the radio directly, or we use what we call a bypass adapter. So we have our servo, we have our radio, and we have our ESC. Now today's ESCs have an internal BEC already built in, so we don't need an external pack to power our radio. So it'll shove out like six volts or so, depending on the ESC. It'll shove six volts out through there, and that powers your radio, typically. We'll go into channel two as normal. Now, so why do you need a BEC? The BEC will provide a lot more power than the internal BEC from your ESC. A lot of jargon here, try to keep up. But we can set this to a higher voltage so that the radio will get six volts and not be damaged and then put 7.4 volts through this so that your servo gets higher power. Now, what we'll have to do is either power this through the radio itself or we use a bypass adapter. If we have both the BEC and the ESC plugged into the radio, then what we would have to do is remove the red wire from our ESC's plug. That way we don't have the voltage from the two kind of cross talking and we end up having the higher voltage back feeding current into the ESC and that's bad, it'll burn it up. So what we can do is either remove the red wire or we can use what is called a bypass adapter. So ESC powers the radio as normal, channel two, but we use this bypass adapter. So we've got power coming in on one side, the servo gets its signal from the radio as normal. And then we don't have any voltage cross-talking between the BEC and the internal BEC on the ESC. There we go. And in channel one. And of course we have to provide power to the actual BEC. So let's just scoot all of this out of the way. And normally what we would do is have a plug that goes under the battery and it would be soldered on just like so. And what I like to do is actually solder these wires directly in. So when we unplug the battery, you unplug the BEC, the radio doesn't get power, the servo doesn't get powered, everything is unpowered. And it's always best to do that. The on off switch on a ESC is not to be trusted for turning off your rig. So just unplug it and then you know everything is off. Another way that we could possibly power this is to actually make a jumper. So we have our Dean's plug in this case on the ESC. Then we have a jumper with a male and a female Dean's soldered back to back. And we would just solder these in on the jumper. The jumper plugs into the ESC. The battery plugs into the other side of the jumper. And that way you can move your BEC from rig to rig without having to resolder it. However, you do end up having a little bit more length of battery plug. And it can kind of make wiring a little bit of a hassle. So I don't do this on my personal rigs, but some people do like to do that particular method. So you would choose a BEC so that you have the most power for your servo. That's pretty much the big reason why to use them. The only reason why you wouldn't use it is if your servo is, say, under 300 ounce inches of power and you have a pretty stout internal BEC or if your servo is actually powered directly from your battery. So in this case, this HV500 can actually be powered by a two cell LiPo directly, 
but we also have the SHV500, which is powered directly from a two cell to four cell LiPo. So you get more voltage range on that particular model and you wouldn't have to use a BEC as long as you're using a two cell through a four cell battery. So I hope this video explains to you what a BEC is, why it's called a BC, and why you would need it on your rig. If you do have any more questions about it, maybe you need to go over the wiring a little bit more, there's something that I didn't cover, just post down in the comments below, let us know and we'll get to it. Thanks for tuning in.